and back to here. Hopefully that works well. We're going to play a couple of turns of this. Uh, this is five turns, I think, into it. Uh, I guess all of the... Didn't want to go through all of the, you know, um, what building in what slot starting all out. That was sort of a slow start. I wanted to get a little bit into this for you. But after a... Hey, Van Bishop. Um, after we get a few more people here, I've got another sort of special thing and some sort of maybe insider information here about what's going on so um you might want to stick around for that so okay um this turn here i is fully set ready to go and i've actually been reading the manual people reading it actually reading i haven't fully read the manual but reading the manual okay so Getting to know it a little bit better. Love the cowbell. Always more cowbell. Okay. Yeah, a little bit, Van Bishop. A little bit. Reading the manual does. Okay, so you... I... My, you know, and it is just my instincts is to start at the bottom and work up, but it's designed to start at the top. So, weakened by... The fleet was weakened by lack of supply. That's why I headed it home. I knew that was coming. Okay, clear water in this region. Got to learn to call these regions where this is... The province of these highlighted ones back to the region. Okay. Again, we are looking at the game as well. I got his disease, and the one cure is more cowbell. Yeah. Um, the green highlighted or edged ones are uh, don't count against the um, number of buildings in a province. So I heavily like to work through those if they're beneficial overall okay archery completed here um, oh that's the one we just and here okay that was the clear water and yeah here we're also going to do um, public works which is sort of like roads not exactly it's that's part of it um, again um, the more infrastructure you have in the province, the easier it is to build and maintain the things that require infrastructure, other buildings, basically, and that's so that's why we're doing a lot of roads or basic public works. Okay, more populous down here, um, trading tent down here, which, as we can see here, we're getting dates and ivory, so a lot of good benefits from that. Now we only have one more slot available down here and or we can do one of the non filling ones now yeah that's what we'll do it'll take 11 turns okay iberia we're not really paying too much close attention up there okay basically every turn we get a new objective hey lancer and gray knight's here hello and Candam Lake. Sorry, butchering that as well. Would like us to take up here. So, and we're looking at a possible rebellion down here. Practice of the local authority has been reported. Okay. Don't know really what we can do about it. And we have a deadly plague up here. Okay, oh, well, one thing I want to do here, we have a lot of food, so we're going to, and I should have done this before, let's add here, which will increase our culture a lot, and we still have probably more than enough food, so we will move some more manpower to producing more money. Just want to look at some of these other provinces now that I saw that. Make sure we are trying to be reasonably well balanced between 
and power and culture. So let's come down here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, um, wars are likely to break out. We are currently, we can look at um, diplomacy, currently at war with um, the Antigonids, these guys, um, and Macedonia, which is another one of the situations. Now, um, as I said early on, we're doing something a little different. So we want to talk about history. Um, what Richard of York was playing earlier this week was playing as, oh, one of these tribes up here. I forget which. I just watched a few minutes of his, his VOD afterwards. I didn't pay too close attention. Now, I'm not playing the Ptolemies just either as a random thing or wanting the biggest, um, you know, starting out with an easy um, country as, you know, big powerful one as, as opposed to a small one. I'm playing it because emotional connections. What ifs in history are fascinating to me. And uh, the Belge, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thanks, Van Bishop. Um, In my opinion, and I don't know, and I'd love to hear. Oh, also, if you guys got questions, whether about the game, I'll try to answer it, or maybe somebody else in chat can, um, or about the history in the period. Again, I, I will try to answer it. Um, I always work well if, with interesting questions. But the biggest what if, in my opinion, in history, on one sort of small event that changed a massive amount of flow of history on it is the death of Alexander the Great at the time that he died. Obviously, if he died a um, year, few years earlier before he um, defeats the Persians, well, that would be a different path in history entirely. But had he lived, because Alexander the Great, when he dies, he has an unborn son who gets born and an older brother who has mental deficiencies of some sort. We don't quite know what they were today. Um, that would be what Philip III was his brother, the um, uh, son by a different wife of Philip II of Macedon, Alexander the Great's father. So I don't know whether it's like, because you know, he could have been, there are diseases that could affect the mind, you know, catch, um, it could be that um, poisoned as a young age that the poison affected his mind, or it could be just you know he was. It was more than just sort of being a li little slow on the uptake of you know you know not the brightest bulb. You know I don't know um, you know uh, mental retardation or something you know Down syndrome. I don't think it was Down syndrome, but it was something that um, was real. So he was never really a viable. Um, candidate to rule anything. But so when Alexander the Great dies, you have an unborn son who is born eventually, obviously, and um, his brother. And they're sort of put as joint rulers, but of course, nobody expects a baby or a person who can't really... Uh, he could tie his own shoes kind of thing, but he was slow um, to rule. So people, the Diadochi, these are the generals, which is sort of a more modern term for it. But the companion leaders, shall we say, companions and leaders. Uh, companions is a specific sort of military unit um, and term for a group of uh, men of Alexander the Great sort of become satraps unruling different regions under um, these two um, men, or, you know, the baby and the elder brother. But neither, well, possibly if the, the, the son, um, you know, gets to an old enough age. But they both die. The point is, is they both get, get killed, basically, or murdered, including his wife, Roxanna, murdered. Um, 
so the Ptolemaic dynasty, in a way, no, sorry, it is the Alexandrian dynasty in a way sort of ends there. But had Alexander lived long enough to have his son come of age and set up a dynasty that could have um, lived on, I think the world would have been vastly different. But what we have instead of the Alexandrian age, we have the Hellenistic age, Hellenistic period. And that basically is from the death of Alexander until um, different historians put it at a different um, sort of time. But basically, and with the fall of the famous Queen Cleopatra, um, the last of the, well, almost the last of the Ptolemaic rulers in Egypt, last effective Ptolemaic ruler in Egypt dies. Um, you know, we know of her from all the movies and things. So that's the Hellenistic age that starts and obviously a big focus of it is the Ptolemy. So that's sort of why I'm picking out this, this period in history. Um, cause then you have sort of the, the age of Rome is sort of post that. Okay. So, um, we moved our army back here. We do have some silver shields in it, the main part of it. I've left a little bit of the army up here while we're building um, some palisades to help protect our frontier. And we've moved our main fleet back to here to um, protect things now. So um, don't have a whole lot more to do this turn, but we do have a, some, some special stuff coming up. Just a moment. Okay, we have, we'll take a quick look at this battle. Shouldn't take too long. Our Nabataean friends are attacking our Antigonid enemies. They got flanked. They got flanked, so it looks like Hey, Ari. Good to see you. Okay, this is going to be a slaughter. We'll just skip that. And, hmm, this could, well, yeah, let's watch it. Yeah, let's see how well this goes. slowly up the progress okay we don't need to take a look at another battle we saw it okay anchorage is complete out here so that will help a little bit there mm, even though we do have people here um yeah we'll do the road and population has grown here and again everyone stay around we do have something special coming up in a moment um, another population growth there. Nothing really to change at the moment. Okay, oh, we um, trading post is completed. That would be that there. Hmm. Spinning mill requires needs flax. We trading required. Tana produces cloth. Hmm. That looks pretty good actually. No, a noble district, too much. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. Um, we have plenty of food, so I think we're going to go with this. Money's good. Cloth will be nice. Okay, they've taken, Rome's taken that. They've taken that, the Carthaginians. Okay, no, we don't want to end turn here. And... I recommend read the book, um, James Rome, Ghost of the Throne, which gives a good picture about the years Alex after Alexander's death. Hey, great. Um, we're doing the Ptolemies. 
hey Ari, would you mind copying um, the the title and the, the author down and posting it in our Discord thread for me? Because I do want to look into that book, please. Ari, I would really appreciate it, so I don't have to go dig it up later on. Hey, Pit Fiend. So, um, yeah, well, Alexand to my understanding, and I'm not exactly sure what Plutarch said on the topic of the Arabian Peninsula. Um, at this time, there was most assuredly development there. A lot of, and there was trading across here. What was really, 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 really valuable was uh, basically, I think it was both, I think it's both frankincense and myrrh. Or is it just frankincense? One of those two came from right around here, and it was very rare. And, um, you know, you, 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 you get the reference. Um, it comes from here, and that is a really, really rare commodity. Really valuable. Thank you, Ari. And so he very well may have been looking down there. But there was definitely a look, or I mean, an idea of Alexander... Um, wanting to move west in a general um, situation here. Um, you have uh, Syracuse down here, as well as other um, Greek city-states that are pretty well established. Of course, you have Carthage that's um, going at the time period. So they're quite well aware, and he quite... I don't know, don't know how aware Alexander and... Now, remember, Alexander's teacher was, you know, personal teacher was Aristotle, okay? So, um, he, you know, he had some of the most educated people teaching him growing up. Um, and so, or was it, I think it was Aristotle, it wasn't Pla Plato. Yeah. Uh, Aristotle. Um, so how much, you know, he knew and really cared about, you know, the Iberian Peninsula, but definitely he was looking at sort of the Mediterranean world here as well and moving west as well. Well, I think we have a pretty good size audience. And so I'm going to um, switch over and I want to show you something. And um, no, that isn't it. There we go. And let me click over here. Oh, come on. Supposed to be capturing the display. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, this doesn't work if this doesn't work. No. Is it because this is? Sorry for the black screen, guys. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I should have tested this out before, of course. Um, Trying to think of an easy way to do this without quitting. No, well, you can listen to it. Glory 
Quali aces imperia, novus ludus maxime profunditatis et bellice artis est. In Europa, ac Medio Oriente, ludo sito. Pau and, well, I'm going to post it here. Paste. Okay, that's what I'm trying to look at. Um, what it is, is a video that is made by Slytherin that is um, entirely in Latin, two minute video talking about um, Field of Glory um, empires. Post Alexandri Magni Mortem. Preta Septuaginta Ludenda Partes At least as me as an English speaker, I can catch some of those words. Yeah, but here is sort of, I mean, I wanted to show that. Unfortunately, I can't really show it here. Um, but I got some inside information. Here's a, from an email I got. Regarding this video, marketing director Marco Minoli, you've seen him on the um, uh, Home of War Gamers, and there's one coming up on the 1st of July, from his seat in Medellorum Sol um, Slytherin headquarters wearing his nicest consular red, red robes said, Empires Melior Quom Imperator Ludus Est. I'm sure I'm butchering the Latin. Empire is a better game than Imperator. Just minutes before appointing his horse, the new global PR manager, the previous one was last seen dragged into um, the capital's prison by the Praetorian Guards. Marco has promised if Fields of Glory Empires sells more than 250,000 copies worldwide, he will release a full Latin version of the game via Victus. Meanwhile, yeah. So, um, the Slytherin... Um, anybody? Yes, sorry. It's We'll, we'll get back to... To, sorry for the, the black screen while we're here. Okay, we should be back to not black. Sorry about this. So, sorry about that. Um, yes, his copy, Plutarch's copyright has expired. So, um, they've decided to go full Caligula on, on this. Make a promotional video in a language that no one speaks to try to sell the game. Yes, yes, Marco is going full Caligula here. But yeah, I thought that was sort of funny and I wanted to share it that they were doing this. And it is sort of cool to hear um, a language. Now, I do think I do think modern spoken Latin, and I don't know about that particular Latin speaker that was doing it, is maybe not you know, like medieval Latin the way they spoke it, which is sort of what I think we pronounce isn't the same pronunciation that they used to do damn the losers brilliant mark no sarcasm at all well it, it's it's definitely a um an interesting thing to market it um i just you know don't know yet there, there's closed captions on it as well but so yeah um they are doing that oh also there's um not for this game because it's not yet out but there's a summer sale going on i believe you buy it through steam for a bunch of slithering games if you're interested in but so um they're doing that now we have been directed to take um sicily so what we're going to do here is move the fleet to here the main fleet And we're going to get these guys. They're going to board a different fleet. They're going to go there. Another, you know, click on that. Another, I like this, that when you look at the provincial view on these, you can quickly see if there's any um, regions not, because that's shuffling. Um, that doesn't have a free one. Um, that just a single slot and it won't, won't be of any use. Okay, so I think we're building everywhere that's reasonable to build. Okay, the Nabataeans are really laying waste to the Antigonids.
Oh, it's been hard on their army. It ended in a draw, did it? Wow. Which means that there'll be another battle. We can see how that goes. Obviously, we can see who's got to win. And we're slowly moving up the scale here. Looks like. Okay. More population down here. More population over here. Okay. Um, and we've received an aging token. So we have one aging token. We don't like aging tokens. Aging tokens are not a good thing. Yeah, how are we doing for food? He, mm, these desert tribes here can really become a problem. Okay, plus one food. So we're going to march these guys down and just deal with them, I think. Will be a good... This fleet's going to come over to here. And the boats carrying, it's also a fleet, but the boats carrying the army, they're going to go to Cyprus. Ah, okay. There's a warning 300 years down the line, and if you beat Rome and bring it upon the second Hellenic Empire, there will be this one guy named Jesus, and a lot of people will convert, not like your empire so much uh, with the pagan rulers. It's good Latin. My high school Latin teacher would have probably gave it a 8 out of 10. Fear of Latin language, while most of the words used are somehow more recent, but overall nicely done. Great idea. Okay, Van Bishop, great, because I am no Latin scholar. Um, and that's very interesting. And... Um, <sighs> Language changes over time. Meanings of words change over time. Um, how words are pronounced are changed over time. So that's all really important to understanding languages. We're going to move these guys this way, I think, because we're seeing um, our enemies being crushed there. So we don't need to just keep hanging out in the desert there. They are building a... Um, stockade, so that will help with that. Again, I want to look. Yeah. To open. Oh, out here. Okay. Um, out here in the desert. Let's see. Roads just to do it. Yeah, or public works as it's called, but yeah. Alexandria, um, what they're calling Marotis, um, don't know why they're calling it that. Maybe somebody knows why it's called that in this game. But Alexandria becomes, not now at this date, but becomes um, the most populous city, at least in the Western world. I don't know about India or China at the time, but it, it outdoes. Rome may eventually eclipse it, but it becomes for a time the most populous city. Pretty sure Rome does eclipse it eventually. Okay, I'm looking here. We're going to reduce that, do a little bit more the culture to help balance some of this out. Eh, that's too much. There we go, we want a little food surplus there. Keep from having aging tokens show up.
Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. See, the desert tribes, that's what I was sort of worried about. They've already moved to there. Um, let's see how we can do here. Well, we might do all right. That looks like we will. I don't think the library was burnt down by Alexander or by Caesar um, or Caesar's armies. We'll just view battle as we'll crush them. Um, I know that's. The sort of popular history that some or all of the library gets burnt down. There is, of course, um, a movie, I think, starring Helen Bottom Carter. I think that's who. No, 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 no. Rachel Wise. Rachel Wise. Um, set in the early Christian era in Alexandria, sort of showing what the final. And we've moved up one more slot the final destruction of the alexandrian library that of course is one of the great tragedies as well as the destruction of that expansion led, led um uh serini uh, to invade and wage war on the ptolemies okay so they are now at war with us Example is how would you feel about thou shall not have faith in um, cybermedic biotech AI driven development, bro? So, yeah, languages do evolve. Very true. Very true. Um, but even the there's that you're talking about, but also just the changes in a particular word. Um, Mm, this is, um, yeah, okay, so, um, Arabia, okay, we have a messenger from Arabia, so we want to click on this, come down here, they asking for a form of cooperation, I have no plans, at least not at this time, to conquer down here, so yes, we'll, we'll agree, we'll get, we'll get that agreement going, they have arrived, okay, And um, new population there. More population there. Good. Salt house here. Hmm. Fortune teller money. Eleven money. Another five from drugs and herbs. Yeah. Sounds good. Not too long to get built. And a herbalist down here. Hmm. Salt mine. Do we have a salt mine down here? We're building a quarry. A salt mine there. So I don't know if we want another salt mine right away up here. Um... Trade, okay, this naturally they produce coral. We need coal. Got to trade for iron, but metal money. Mm. You know, I'm going to do the shuffle. Okay, street parlor down here. Now they'll get us coal we need that so yeah and will cost us money I think for importing the lumber but not exactly sure okay yes this is the salt mine that we just hemp hemp we may be able to get tar now we're gonna do Let's do a free crafter district. Okay, you've conquered out here. We don't need to re-see the battles. 
Our armies are there. Okay. So, um, let's take a look. What can we do here? Not a whole lot. Let's get a hemp field to get that. Um, food plus one, food plus two. Let's go where we have more food. No, we are we are we are now on Cyprus and we're besieging it. We're gonna we're gonna assault it next turn. Cyprus is important. Okay. We're very low on manpower. Doing well on just about everything else. So and yes. So we are here. We our army is at currently ninety six strength, because you can see some of these units here I think are not at full effectiveness or just because they are off the sea voyage or something, I don't know. So we're going to order an assault, and I think now they're going. These guys are going to see supremacy. Oh, five extra legacy points gained. Very good. That will help us. Um, maybe you should click more up on the flag. There we go. Um. Yeah, you come back to here. So we don't want you to starve out there. They're going to assault. They're coming down this way. That yeah, looks good. With your block the sun with your rain arrows. That's more of a Persian thing to do. Okay, we're going to view the battle. Oh, they're they're going to be just slaughtered. At least I hope. Um, of course, the limited frontage uh, when you're breaching a city does affect. How things go. But they're mostly fairly weak. Or at least the frontline units are. Region too far. Yes, sir, like Bridget. Hey, Paul Winter. Messenger A, Ptolemaeus and Arabia are sharing, using their information, using their trade and cooperating in other aspects. Very good. We don't need to look at the battle again. Palisades are complete here. So, um, well, this has gone much better than I expected for the Nabataeans. But we can see here they need food, so we're going to do a shepherd's house. And we're going to make the shepherd's house... Well, it doesn't take any longer, but we'll get them food there. Shift manpower to food production. And a blacksmith here. Okay, um... Food is doing really well. What's this? Tool manufacture, money, metal, infrastructure. It's missing tin, copper. Hmm. Now I think we're going to shuffle. And more population out here. Well, that may lead us to build... I presume you're hearing the motorcycle driving by. Um, I'm not really liking any of these either. Yes, uh, Carthage very much. Now, um, just to sort of show you, 
um, come over here and what the trade is like um, here. This will give us trade details for this province. Natural goods here is frankincense. Okay. Um, they're missing trade goods here of ivory. That's for the trading tent here. We can come over. I think here we'll actually see trade route. Um, yeah. Okay. You, you can see here for um, Mariotis or Alexandria, um, they have a natural trade goods of silk and manufacture for of coal sales and luxury items importing trade goods so this is costing us that's making us some money missing bonus trade goods and so you can see this sort of trade that's going on here so yes we are trading out to them here it looks like I'm not sure just what we're bringing in from where But that's how trade sort of works. You don't micromanage it, meaning it's gonna, it sort of works automatically to the best of my understanding. And so green trade is, I guess, like within us or something, I don't know. But so we can look at that and see what's available. Hemp field, okay, good. Hemp field, um, okay, yeah, so we're already shuffling that one. Ranch down here, okay, so we have lots of food. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'm not liking any of those. And yes, we saw how that went. We saw how that went. Battle. We conquered Cyprus. Yes, we need to look at Cyprus here now. Um, they got clear water. Now we can look here. They got copper mines. Um, on the periodic table um, for copper, because it's an element, is Cu, and that comes from Cyprus, because Cyprus was known for its copper manufacturing. So they're correct to have that here. And I want to look at trade details. Natural trade goods copper. Manufactured trade goods frankincense. Um, I guess they're missing, um, unless it should be a building, because I know there is a um, uh, logging building of some sort. Uh, Cyprus was also known for its trees. Cyprus doesn't have any good trees today because humans cut them all down. But um, yeah, it was at this time. And that is where um, the Ptolemies, and it was probably, it was probably Cleopatra, the last one, I think that's Cleopatra the seventh, the you know the famous one that um, Elizabeth Taylor and others played. It's probably one of the one of the ones most personally responsible for cutting down the last of the trees in Cyprus, is when she built her big fleet. Um, a lot of that, most of that wood comes from Cyprus that they built that there. Okay, um, well, food is doing okay. We only have one free slot. Now, it seems to me in this game that if I were to fill this um, slot to eight, it wouldn't even give me the option for a one that doesn't take up a slot. So we're going to use that one first so that we don't take it up there. Okay. We have received a progress token, so we've moved down a bit on our or moved away, moved more towards a stable monarchy by taking this, by fulfilling our ruler's desires. Um, yes, so we've got that. The Lysimachids, yes, we've got Byzantium. Belge, we don't need to go. Um, oh, they want us to take this. Well, I don't, I think they get to be disappointed. And we also got an aging token as well, so that bounced it up. Hello, kangaroos are cool. Get you guys some cowbell. So, um, let's take a look out here. Hmm, looks like we're more powerful than these guys. Um, 
I want to make sure we're not because you can sort of like spe specify the town. I don't want to assault the town. I just want to march into the province and put them on, um, you know, uh, besiege them. If you, I have to, because of where I have monitors next to it, if I just go, well, it's not doing that now, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it just, my, my cursor goes off the edge is when I go here. It still stays here. So I move, scroll a little awkwardly is all. If you're maybe seeing that. Okay, we're going to try to um, use our weak fleet to um, closer besiege, clo more closely besiege them. Okay, and we're increasing our army. We're moving you down to here. Oh, okay, we population's grown here, so we can see about adding a building. Hmm. Manpower would be really nice and increase. So we're going to do that. Look at the province. Shuffling, shuffling. I'm doing a lot of shuffling. I'm not liking what I'm seeing, I guess. Okay, we're gonna let these guys, um, well. Well, their effectiveness is looking, well, okay, there, they could use a little bit. Okay. What we'll do is we'll grab our fleet here. Oh, no, they, they need to stay in port another turn. Okay, we're gonna let, it, let them stay in port another turn here. Oh, we'll watch this battle. Small one. Our Nabateans have pushed fist. Another region too far. Okay, we're going to look at this battle here. Okay, looking a little worse than I was thinking. Oh, that's good. No, that's not so good. That's not good. I may have really messed this up, guys. Oh, that's okay. draw, which means we'll do another one, which, uh, okay, okay, um, yeah, ouch, ouch, yeah, this, <laughs> draw really okay um this is looking like to be a, uh, a complete pyrrhic victory at best um ouch 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 battle in a draw oh man this is this is just totally gutting whatever army i had here Okay, well. Oh, wow. This totally gutted my army. Hello, Josel Lily Pull. Sorry, I'm butchering it.
Um, I'm a citizen of the Grand Duchy of uh, Cyrenaica. Yeah. Well, of course, Cyrenaica is famous, at least World War II, is, you know, lots of the battles out there. Yeah, uh, Virus, uh, Pyrrhic victory. Um, um, I'm running away with what's left of my army. And my navy's going away too. I messed that up badly. Hello, dead meat. I just sort of turned into dead meat here. Um, okay, we're being besieged down here. Um, hmm. By Deseric Independence. I'm going to play it safe. We have some manpower, so let's see what we can do. Okay, well, I want to take a look at this army. Um, one archer, like... Okay, so if we were to... Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to build up a much bigger army there. Um, now, how is our main fleet doing? Okay, they're all in the green. So we're going to actually come to our port over here. Um, food, yeah. Let's move a little bit more into food production. Oh, let's... Okay... They've taken there. We don't need to see the battles again. And we've received another aging token. Damn. Hmm. No, what we're going to do is because I don't, they're putting pressure. We're going to come right to there. And uh, these guys here, they're going to come over to, they're going to come out here. Hopefully, They'll be able to get on board boats safely. And here, wealthy citizen, please buy your fair rule in uh, Anthacanthus. Anthacus donated some money to speed up the current building construction. Okay, so get our armor produced faster. Yeah, right now there's a new sort of civil war going on right in there in Libya. Um, oh, I forget just what town has just within the last couple days have shifted hands. Uh, one warlord general is trying to overthrow the Libyan government and he just got push, pushed back. Maybe it was Benghazi that he got pushed back from. I'm not sure. So that is right now a hotbed of war. Particularly, I believe, in, in Eastern Libya and Cyrenaica. Oh, come on. We were leaving. We were, we were leaving with the tail between our legs. So even though they won, they're going to lose that. They're going to get flanked. I really, that was really a Pyrrhic victory. Okay, if if it isn't, somewhere, uh, somewhere in Libya, um, they just were having some major battles. Maybe it's not Selat, but okay. Expansion led to, yeah, okay. They're, they're going to war with us down here now which I was expecting. Okay, well, 
Oh, well, let's... Yeah. Our Nabataean friends are doing well. Coastal market, which will help with our food and similar needs. Um... We'll do public works. Okay, brickwork. That produces stone, I believe. Yes. Stone, but also more infrastructure. Okay, um, yeah, since it will take just one turn, we're going to do that. We don't need to rehash those. Macedonia is conquering. New decision available. Okay, we can't quite do it right at this moment. But um, our regions are populous too many when we join the army, okay. Yeah, we're getting aging tokens badly. Hello, Land Devout. I'm liking the game a lot. It it has a, a, a good amount of flavor. Um, each of the main diadochi have different sorts of conditions for benefit like one of um for the antigonids being at war with a bunch of people is a benefit for them and similar things like that okay we're yeah yeah we're okay okay they're going up to there um we're click back on get out of our that mode they're going to go there now our our fleet here I want our fleet to go into port hmm we just had a massive disaster out there I say we because I'm gonna blame all of you out there okay um that's what I want okay well first we have to deal with our war down here. Okay, we're going to lift the siege of our city there. That should do all right. Now to uh, deal with our losses here. Um, we have the money, so I th and the not manpower, so let's. Um, okay, um, so that costs a lot more because they're mercenaries, so we'll do, and some skirmishers. There we go. Mm, maybe not that much. There we go. There we go. Yes. Um, yeah, Libya is um, an artificial country because that was the territory that um, Italy conquered. And in the rush to decolonize post-World War II, it was just in mass given to, um, you know, sort of with a king initially. Uh, I forget his name. And... 
then later a junta takes over and out of the junta comes um, Gaddafi, if I remember the history correctly. Uh, but it wasn't a naturally identified... People didn't think of themselves as Libyans. They were much more tribal or regional or what not. So, yeah, there's a lot of that post-decolonial -decol situation in which national identity is not a stable thing. Okay, so we're down here. We'll view the battle. Okay, hopefully this will not be... Hopefully it is not a Pyrrhic victory. So, arrange, we got good archers... Not looking good. At least we're flanking them. This is too pyrrhic. Damn. Yeah, we got slaughtered, people. If you have the time to do it, it is much better. To play to export the battles mostly for for time but also we want to show the mechanics of um, empires more than the battles um, it is much much better to play them out in um, field of glory 2 oh, let's see if our people can do anything. Yay. Okay. Not so Pyrrhic. Up here, we don't even need to watch this. Nabateans are kicking butt. Sorta. Of. Not as good as I hoped. Okay, suffered heavily from lack of supply up down here. Mm. Yep, they've taken our city. Our remnants are up here. Oh man, okay. Um, not worth it. We are victorious, right? Okay. Population grows here. Clear water there. And can we do roads? No, no. The road reshuffle went away. So I'm going to shuffle that. And our marble quarry. Hmm. We could use food. We've got a few slots. We could use some that sheep. Okay, food, horses. That sort of provides us both. Um, no, we have too few. I don't like any of those. We're going to reshuffle. Yep, we're losing. We're not doing well. Maybe I get a good rhythm going. Yeah, no, didn't do the cowbell well. War of succession raging hard. Yeah, this this is not looking good. Aging tokens are coming fast and furious now. Okay, well we took this, which um well given us enough food here. Hunter's Lodge Ranch. 
Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think we should crush this army while we're over here. At least I hope it's a crushing. Now these guys, they were to go after the Cyrenaicans, but we're going to send them down here, I think, because things are going not well. The light horse has not been doing well. What's this still made up of? Okay. Yeah. Nope, we're not going to do the manpower this time. Okay, good for you, Nabateans. Go after them. Deseric. to four units. We'll see how this goes. Uh oh, we're exhausted. Yeah, I think we're so well. Well, they killed each other. Oh, wow, how, how good of you. Okay, um, yeah, this is a gun. Now here, here we have a chance to mountainous. So this is where both the, the skirmishers come in useful and having high quality troops comes in useful because only a limited amount of frontage here will tell the tale. Oh, we want to... Okay, they're exhausted. Good, our silver shields are just on the edge of their capital. Yeah. New decisions are available. Okay, merchants and patricians not so precious iron. Okay, well, we can't we don't have enough to quite get rid of it, but that's coming about. Buy, sell, move, trade, uh, slaves. Um, not going to do any of these at the moment. Okay. Shepherd's house out here. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll do a crafter district. Herbalist. Yeah, it's taking up our one slot. New population up here. Hopefully that will continue to grow. Public works, very good. Caravan house, this horse is missing, but. Yeah, we'll do a caravan house, I guess. We'll boost commerce in the region even more. Nearby horses or cattle, very good. And population growth, population growth. 
population growth. Is that a good rhythm? Good beat? Got a beat to it? Can you dance to it? Yeah. No. I know. Not that funny. Okay, now I want to look at... Um, Yeah, regular infantry, we can do that. Some light horse. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully those with this army here, along with these guys marching down, hopefully they'll deal with our southernmost problematic region. They don't have much food. They've got plenty of food, so let's move more to culture. I want to deal with not having enough cultural emphasis here. Um... Okay, our newly acquired region of Caria. Okay. Hmm, well, they have not enough people working on any of this. Let's. We're getting plenty of money, so let's move. I need the food for feed the army. Um. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. And I think here we're going to create a province. So hopefully it'll get all three of those places. Better internally trade and deal and manage with manage things. Hmm, yes, yes. Okay, they've marched on us. How interesting. We do, we are looking at the mountains here, so let's... Okay, limited frontage. Very good. Didn't know how that was going to go without being able to do greater frontage. No, I don't even. Well. Nah, skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Yes, we know we're, we're getting our butts kicked right now. Okay, new decisions available. Gods of old, religious ceremony. Religious ceremonies were already very important in ancient times. Where worshipping had a wide range of practices and people were prone to adopt the gods of other ethnicities if this could give them some supposed benefits. Okay. Add a feast to the calendar. 
sacrifice or sacrifice uh, nah, that's an odd word sanctification decree okay yes and deification decree okay um hmm. pious everyone religious man elevated to the theocracies newly defeated so loyalty for 12 turns if the religion no building no cold sites hmm okay we'll do that mm. Treasuries flooded with coins and gold. Buy metal. Right. Okay. Well, um, I want to save this just. What to call it that? 